Hey guys, so welcome back. And uh, the next method that we are trying to understand from dictionary is pop item. This is a pretty simple item as we have seen in our earlier video. Pop is used to uh, the pop method, which we saw in my earlier video, is used to pop a specific key and item from a dictionary. Yeah, so same way. Uh, we have pop item method, which is used to remove and return an arbitrary key value pair from the dictionary. Okay. Let me first show you the syntax and then we'll try to understand what it does. Yeah. So let me put the syntax here or here. So the syntax for this is dictionary dot pop item and there is nothing within the parenthesis. So you do not specify anything within the parenthesis. But what you need to remember the most is this on this particular method. Yes, when you call pop item, it removes and returns an arbitrary key value in the form of tuple. Yeah, if that particular item is not available, then pop item will receive uh, or if you try to run this uh, particular uh, method on an empty dictionary, it will come up with a key error. Now you need to see that if the dictionary is not empty, pop item removes the last available key value pair within the dictionary. So this particular method is useful when you want to remove and process item when dictionary is in an arbitrary order. Or you do not know which key I want to remove. If you know which key you want to remove, then you can use the pop method which we saw earlier in my, uh, in my earlier videos. Yes. So let me just quickly take you through a simple example on what it uh, how it removes an arbitrary key and uh, shows as a pupil. Yeah. So suppose I have this dictionary, the same dictionary as we have earlier, we'll try to get the popped item, which will be in the form of tuple. Yeah, we'll see that item and the updated dictionary. Okay, so let's see. You can see this, the popped item is in the form of tuple because it is in the parenthesis, whereas our original dictionary has been modified. Yeah. Since we have popped out the one of the item from the dictionary. Now you can see here. You need to remember that uh, pop item will remove the last item within the dictionary. You need to be very careful with it. Let me just put the values here. I'll show you what happens. Here you can see. Any time I try to run this particular query, it will always remove the last item which is added within the dictionary. Yeah. So the first thing that we saw it, it stores this particular value within a tuple. Second, you need to see to it that it pops only the last item within the dictionary. Yeah. And you can retrieve that item using the values. So you can store it within a variable, the popped item within the variable, and you can uh, use it uh, as in how you require it. 
I can also have keys and key and value separated from the pop item. Yeah. How we can do this? I have this dictionary, as I said, popped item, key and value. See how I'm storing the value right now. Previously, I am I was storing the value as one value, which was as a key and a value together, as one item rather. Here, I am having two variables, key and value, in which I'll be storing the keys and values of this popped dictionary a uh, popped item within the dictionary so c and 3 should be shown separately here you can see this yeah so this is how you can retrieve the key uh, key and uh, the value pertaining to that key separately yeah now if i try to if we Pass empty dictionary, it will give an key error. Yeah. So if I try to pop, use pop item on an empty dictionary, it will give come up with a key error because there is nothing to be popped out. Yeah. Pop item at least need one entry within the dictionary or one item within the dictionary which it can pop or remove. If it is an empty dictionary, it will not have anything to be removed. So it will come up with an error. Now, unlike pop method, which we saw earlier in my video, uh, in my earlier video, uh, where you specify the default value as a parameter. But over here, we do not have a default value as well, which we can pass on. Hence, it will always give you an error, which needs to be handled. Yeah. So pop item, as I said, the value that will return will always be in, in the form of tuple. You can store it in a variable. You can, uh, the popped item will be always the last item within the uh, dictionary. Yeah. And you cannot uh, use it on a empty dictionary because it will come up with an error. Hope you understood this concept. Hope you like this video. Uh, do like, share this video with, uh, uh, with your colleagues who want to learn Python. Do subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like to get such kind of informative videos directly to your inbox. Uh, we will always love to have those comments from you so that uh, we can improve on our content. Yeah. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.